the answers I wish I could give them, but I couldn't because you're not supposed to be too intense in small talks. And besides, I'm not sure they really want to know anything. <laughs> Number one, kamu aslinya dari mana sih? I wish I could point to a location on a map, but that would not be the complete story. Every culture has their own creation myth, and my people were born into this world when the god of the heavens married the god of the underworld. And the first thing that the first of my people did was roam the earth, and roam the earth we did. Today, there are seven million of us, and only half of us reside back home. But I'm not sure what it is you really want to know. I know I'm not from around here, but you know this city fucks everyone up equally no matter where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, jadi kegiatan kamu sekarang ngapain aja? Ask any of my people and they'll tell you armado usukwaleami talanga natoalia. I would rather drown then sail back to shore once again. I would rather drown and sail back to shore. Why would anybody rather drown? I think it's ridiculous. I do not want to drown. <laughs> to answer your question, I have been fighting to stay afloat. And if your boat just so happens to pass by without the intention of throwing a lifeline, please just move along. <laughs> Number three, how have you been? I have not drowned. <laughs> Even if things have not been easy, I will tell you I'm doing great because the strength it takes waking up in this body, in this head, getting this body out of bed, taking this body to the shower, dragging this body to work with this head, with this thunderstorm, and this head invisible to everybody else. The strength it takes is amazing and suddenly I understand my people are fighters. I don't feel like retreating today, so I have been doing fucking amazing. <laughs> I make calculations for everything. It's how I know how many times a week I can afford to visit coffee shops and how much is my maximum purchase for every visit. So you see, I don't like to waste money on bad coffee. I don't like to waste money. I don't like to waste. My headspace is carefully arranged into four categories. A, urgent and important, like overcoming my anxiety. B, urgent but not important, such as deadlines. C, not urgent but important, text messages from my grandmother. And D, not urgent and not important, hence do not entertain. Actually, no, it's not really that carefully arranged. Don't picture it like a Cartesian diagram built out of a storage shelf that is shockproof. It's more like everything is laid out on the table and labels get misplaced. Sometimes objects get rearranged and the spotlight changes from time to time, 7 a.m. to lunchtime to evening to around bedtime or it's all do not entertain until I fall asleep. And it's always between the waking and sleeping moment that I thought of you seriously, of how radical it would be if one day I just told you how I really feel. Because I make decision trees for a living and you see how it works? Is that in the end, there are only two possible outcomes. Yes, tell you how I feel or no, don't tell you. And although I've been trying to tell myself that when it comes to you, do not entertain. I keep drawing lines and they're diverging into branches and I even draw stupid little hearts but somehow I never really make it until the decision tree is complete. So until then, here's what I'm gonna do. There is a limit to how much I can afford you. So I'm gonna set up a limit to frequency of visits and maximum purchase. Thank you.